Hey everyone, it's Andrew and oh my gosh, I have a huge, like huge toy haul for you guys. I think it's probably like one of the largest toy hauls I have ever done on my channel. It's um, a collective haul. It's over a few days, um, mostly this past weekend. So the last weekend of January and um, yeah. So as you guys know, or don't know, I don't really know. Um, I can't remember if I talked about this or not. I have been waiting and stocking Toys R Us like crazy for the Disney Little Kingdom figures and like going on their website. I called them one time to see if they were in or not. Um, they weren't getting them in. Like it was taking forever. I was going in like two or three times a week or like once or twice <laughs> towards the end. I like chilled out a bit, but not a lot. And, um... I don't know why I just kept checking Toys R Us and I didn't think to check any of the other stores. Um, I think it's just like, cause I know down in the States like Target got them right away and these do seem kind of something that like Target would carry, but of course in Canada, like we no longer have Target. So um, yeah, I found um, most of the Disney Little Kingdom figures, which are so cute and probably one of my favorite things from the new Hasbro takeover of Disney princess stuff. So I'm so excited about them. They're so cute. I think that their detail is amazing. Um, yeah. And then I also have um, a couple blind bag items, which I've already opened because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to film it or not, but I thought I was just kind of like there in the moment and I wanted to open them. And um, then I have some vintage e Barbies and Barbie clothes that I also got. So um, let's start with the, um, what's it called? The blind bag stuff. So I got two Sum Sum, uh, Sum, Sum blind bag um, figurines, which are very cute. And I wasn't really sure on them. Like I'm not a big blind bag person, but I do enjoy them. And these ones I like because they're pretty easy to feel around. So um, on Friday night, my friend and I went to Toys R Us before we went out for dinner and mainly because the the day before I went in to go check um, Toys R Us before I started work to see if they gotten anything in which the only thing that they had seemed to get in was the new series of Lego minifigs so series 15 and um, they had like seven boxes of them and then when we went back the next day there was two so they sold out very fast and so the first two that I got from the Disney blind bag, uh, some, some stuff was Figaro from Pinocchio and then Marie from the Aristocats. So this is Figaro. He is so cute. I actually, when I was younger, I had a rabbit and I named him Figaro after this cat. And then he's, um, his little thing that he balances on is, um, this bowl like this. And then Cleo See if that focuses. So Cleo is also in there, which is Cleo, um, the goldfish. Which, weirdly, before I was born, my parents and my brother had a dog, a cocker spaniel, and they named her Cleo. So we had two pets kind of named after this movie. I don't know if she was named after this movie or not, but yeah. So these feel really interesting. They're kind of like rubbery vinyl, I guess. I are they vinyl? I'm not really sure if they're vinyl or not, but. Um, super cute. I really love these. I probably will be getting more. I think I've kind of found my blind bag uh, series that I want to collect, even though I don't really have room for them because they're like a good price. I think they're like four bucks or something. And then I also got Marie, who is adorable and just super cute. And these are like the smaller size ones. They're not the teeny tiny ones. And then she comes with this like really over the top bed, um, like that that's pink and gold and very ornate and she just kind of like goes on top of it like that or I guess like with the bigger ones that could go on top she can't really fit she can fit inside but it's a tight squeeze so maybe more of like a, a, a little bit smaller of one would fit in there better now she's kind of stuck and I got one of the series 15 uh, Lego minifigures and I got the Elizabethan Queen which was of course I had to get because is it gonna focus? This is like one of my favorite like clothing eras. Like I love anything that's like ye old like this, like Elizabethan, Edwardian, Georgian, the, all of that kind of stuff. Like I love the clothing from it. I love the hair, all of that kind of stuff. So 
Um, I got her. They have some really good uh, minifigs this series. I'm really happy with them. Apparently, next, the uh, I'll leave the Disney stuff for last. So um, we have a store here in BC called Toy Traders, which is like this huge, 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 huge um, toy store that's independently owned. And the guy is a big collector of like like Star Wars, like all of that kind of stuff. And he has this collection like set up the whole store. It, the store is gigantic. And there's also, it started out as a place where they would have um, used toys for sale and then you could bring your toys in and trade them for like the other toys that are in there. So now the store is mostly new toys and then there still is a trade section where you can come in and like trade your stuff. And that's how I've gotten a lot of my vintage My Little Ponies because they have a big section of that there. Um, <laughs> that's where I got my Mimic, so if you guys know anything about Vintage My Little Ponies, you know that Mimic is like the big deal, right? Um, I found this 1987 Skipper here. I haven't taken her out of the bag yet. Um, here, I'll take her out. I don't know what Skipper this is, so if you know anything about Skipper or anything like that, or Barbie in general, um, just comment down below and tell me which one it is. She has like uh, this two-toned hair. Um, two different types of blonde. It's like this cool blonde that's like I associate with um, Barbie from like when I was younger and then this um, like warmer blonde. And she's wearing <laughs> this outfit which I had pants that looked like this actually when I was little. So that's her face. It's very sweet. So I don't think that this is teen skipper. I think this is just like the regular one. She has the clicky feet or the clicky knees and pink shoes, hot pink shoes. So I saw her and she was too cute, so I had to get her. That's her. And then I got, okay, so I'm not like really about holiday Barbies at all, but um, I'm not sure what year this one's from. I'm guessing it's from sometime in the 90s or probably like mid to late 90s. She looks like this. She's very Christmassy, very Dr. Zhivago Christmas. <laughs> um, she comes with like a little muff. You can see that. And then her hat that matches. She looks very Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus or whatever. Um, she has this overcoat that is part of her coat. And then she has like um, this, the skirt doesn't go all the way around, which I'm guessing is because these dolls are meant to be displayed. So no. she has violet eyes too. She just has a really pretty face. You can see that. There you go. Her hat's kind of like making a shadow. So you can see. So she's pretty. Her hair is kind of like, um, it's not the best quality, but I mean, if you're split, most people just keep these in the box anyways. So yeah. So that's her. And then she also came with a stand, which was gold. I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, let's see. Then they also had a bunch of like Barbie clothes, which were, I'm guessing from the either the late 80s or the early 90s or just from the 90s. So there's like in this bag, I'll just go through it really quickly because I haven't even opened this yet. Um, so I don't really know what's in here, but I was pretty excited when I saw it. So um, some of these are pretty hilarious. This hot pink dress with um, this like ruffle sleeve, kind of like a, you know, like that. It's, it's like gingham, which is pretty cute. It's ridiculous. Oh, this has, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So then there's this dress, which is like a tube dress. This is made of spandex. There's this like red ruffle, like ballerina tutu with like a lining underneath and then this like embellishment right here. And yes, fake jean. Oh, maybe this could work. Look at that. That looks like Kelly Kapowski, hey? Um, so then there's this Kelly Kaposki like jacket, which is fake denim and, or it's denim look. And then it has, oh, they're Mickey Mouse heads. It's from the, from a Disney Barbie. That's super cute. Um, when I was little, like Barbie clothes would come in like a big box. I think that they still might do it, but they'd come in a big box, like a across and they'd have like six or seven different outfits in it. And they were always kind of made of this like thicker material and they're like, they're not lined, but this one. So this one has like a little green and like brocade halter dress and then this like vest that goes with it. It's very Easter parade. So, you know, if you wanna get your Barbies dressed up for the Easter parade, this is it. You can watch Easter parade with it if you don't have anyone else to watch it with. Um, 
Okay, so this is clearly like some sort of, oh my god, is this a hat? I don't know. Okay, there's this violet bodysuit. Like that. And then also this, which I'm going to say is like a hat, like kind of like what Blossom would wear from the TV show, Blossom. Like that, and then it's open on top, or else it's like a tutu, but I don't really think that, like, that would be weird as like a, a dress outfit, so I don't know. Who knows? It was the 90s. Do you guys ever go to restaurants after you've gone toy shopping and like open stuff in the restaurant? My friend and I went to Pizza Hut twice this weekend because we are gross. And uh, the first night, the Friday night, we brought all of our blind bag stuff in and then we opened them at the table. And we've done that a number of times and the reaction by the wait staff is always pretty good. Okay, so next we are going to go through all of the Disney Little Kingdom stuff, which I am so excited about. I had to restrain myself. The only thing I didn't get from the, these are um, some of the Frozen sets because I'm not like a huge Frozen fan. And then the two um, kind of like um, play sets, which are the Bibbidi Bobbidi Carriage and the Bell like teacup Mrs. Potts one, like the dinner set. Uh, those are all of the sets that we have gotten in Canada that I know of. So all of these dolls, plus like the Merida um, doll and um, those two play sets and then like a Frozen, some of the other Frozen ones. But other than that, I have everything else. So I was going to buy those two play sets yesterday with some of the stuff, but I ended up being like, no, I'm just going to wait. These are everywhere. I keep seeing them. So like, we're good. Um, okay, so let's start with the single dolls. I'm telling you guys, I went crazy with these. This is like, I don't usually do this kind of thing. Like I usually so show some restraint, but I couldn't. These are just too cute. I flipped out on Friday night when I saw um, the first ones that I got. So I'm gonna start with like one of my favorites, which is Jasmine, who like you don't really see that often and I'm so excited that they have a Jasmine because she is so cute and so pretty and like her gold and like the blue of her outfit are just it's like awesome so that's her sorry if there's glare but yeah so she's awesome she's super cute um, I don't know if I want to open these yet or not like they look really cute in the box but I kind of like want to like set them up and stuff and put them in my display case. I got Elsa last night who is so cute and reminds me of my cousin's baby. Like they kind of look alike, even though my cousin isn't, baby isn't this blonde, but she just has like a really sweet face. So that's Elsa who's really cute. I'm not a huge fan of this movie, but this little doll is like adorable and so sweet looking and I just couldn't pass it up. Then I have Belle who looks a little bit crazy, but she's still very cute. And I wasn't gonna get her cause I was gonna get the, is that gonna focus? There we go. I wasn't gonna get her because I had gotten the, I was gonna get the playset, but I ended up going back and getting this doll this, the next night. And she's very cute. Um, I like that she's in like her ball ground with the roses and stuff. Um, her face isn't my favorite, but she's very cute. These illustrations though, can we just talk about how gorgeous these illustrations are and that they're kind of like chalk pastel looking. They're so pretty. Like I love the box art for these. They're adorable. Um, they're very much like the John Lasseter, like Pixar concept art that they do it a lot in, in the Sandy Lion books. Uh, are they saying, no, the little golden books. They're very cute and like very graphic and like kind of sixties looking. So I really like them. And then here is Cinderella, who I also got in like another set, but I wanted her in this dress because I thought it was, you know, it's her blue ball gown. So that's her, that's her illustration. She's also very cute. And you know, but Cinderella actually, like I feel like in the movie, her hair is more of like a strawberry blonde than like a blonde. So, um, it's more of like an Elsa color, but maybe a little bit lighter. Anyways, <laughs> um, and then we have Aurora who also has a very, very cute face. Like her face is so, it's adorable too. So is her box art. Okay, is that all of the single balls? Yes, 
Okay, and then I got three of like the little bit larger ones. They come with um, a secondary outfit and then like a little accessory with each one. So, except Cinderella, hers has a lot more in it than the other ones do. So this is kind of like her little like um, attic workshop and there's Gus who is so cute. Like, oh my, this is alone is worth like buying this thing because of how cute the stupid mouse is. So it's her, she has like um, her little apron on, there's like a little bluebird on like her, um, her bandana, am I gonna focus? There we go. And um, she comes with like a little sewing basket and a tray with cookies and a teacup on it and all of that good stuff. So very, very cute. I really like this one. Um, then I found Tiana, who is, that's like one of my favorite Disney, like newer Disney movies. The songs in it are so good. The animation is beautiful. I was so happy when they were coming out with a new traditional animated movie. Um, so that's her. Although I feel like Tiana was like robbed of like a really good like princess moment song, but this movie is so good. If you haven't seen this, please watch this movie. Um, so she has like the little frog with her, Prince Naveen, I'm guessing. And then she comes in the two outfits, this blue one, and then her lily pad like wedding dress outfit, which is very pretty. So she looks gorgeous. Her drawing is so cute. Oh my gosh, with the little frog, that's adorable. And then um, we got Ariel, which she is in her pink dress. And then she has this other like two petticoats with her, which I don't really remember those, but it's cute then nonetheless. And then she has like her flippy hair. And yeah, she's very cute. So transform Ariel's fashion. Is that what they all say? Yes. So I don't know like what the deal with this outfit is. They don't really have any of her um, as a mermaid, which I think would be very cool. Or do they? I don't know. Maybe in the play set she comes as a mermaid, but I wish that she was like as an actual mermaid in at least one of the sets. And then last but not least, I was looking everywhere. This is like the one set that I really wanted, which was Ariel in the boat when they're like in the lagoon having their date or whatever. And I couldn't find her at the um, at the Walmart on Friday night, but on Sunday night, um, they didn't have her in any of the doll section and the Walmart was like a disaster, which the Walmart I'm used to going to is usually pretty like organized and clean. And this one was just like a disaster <laughs> and I couldn't find anything. I had to like actively like go like this through things to find the stuff that I did, which they ended up having a bit more of a selection, um, but they didn't have this one. And then I went over to the other row just to kind of look and see. And I found this and it was the only one and she was kind of hidden. So I don't know why she was in the My Little Pony section, but she was. So it's this boat set and the boat really floats and she has on the outfit that she's in when she goes on her date with Eric and blah, 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 blah. And there's her little animation and yeah. So, whoa, let me know if you guys wanna see like individual um, like reviews of them kind of thing. Like I know that there's a ton of videos out there of these so, and they've been out for like over a month. So it's not like they're new or anything, but if you guys wanna see that, please let me know, comment down below. Um, this was kind of exhausting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have, sorry, it's been kind of like a bit of a delay between videos. I have my two other like build with me videos that I'm planning on doing, but I didn't want to put them up like close together and just have like a bunch of the same videos going up. So I was like waiting to get new toys in to like film a video. So if you guys want to see more in depth videos of any of this stuff, please let me know. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram if you enjoy seeing pictures of me in a wig, because uh, that's kind of like what I've been posting lately. Um, so my Instagram is too trendy for life. Um, please, I have to stop saying, um, uh, subscribe to me on here, like this video, comment, like some of my other videos if you want and watch those. And I hope you guys had a great Monday. I had a pretty good Monday and I will see you guys soon. Bye.